Sleipnir was the eight-legged horse ridden by Odin in the Norse mythology. It was described as the best of all horses, and was sometimes ridden to the location of hell. But what makes that horse so special? In what way the god of mischief Loki is linked to this horse? Did Loki turn himself into a female horse? We're going to find out soon. In the early days of Valhalla, when Asgard first came into being, a craftsman came to visit. He offered to build a fortification for the gods in three seasons that will keep out invaders and giants who may attack from any direction. For payment, demanded that the goddess Freya be his bride and that he receives the sun and the moon also. After some debate, the gods agree to this, but place a number of restrictions on the builder, including that he must complete the work within three seasons with the help of no man. The man accepted this with the condition that his stallion, Svadilfari, could help. The gods were unsure, but Loki convinced them that even with the help of his horse, the man would not be able to uphold his end of the bargain, so Freya, and the sun and moon were not at risk at all. And so the man set to work on the first day of winter. The stallion Svalfari performs twice the deeds of strength as the builder, and hauls enormous rocks to the surprise of the gods. The builder, with Svalfari, makes fast progress on the wall, and three days before the deadline of summer, the builder was nearly at the entrance to the fortification. It was so tall and strong that no enemy would be able to take Asgard. Then the gods sat down for counsel and discussed how they could avoid giving the man payment. Then they discussed who was responsible for all this mess in the first place, and they all decided that Loki was to blame. The gods declare that Loki would deserve a horrible death if he could not find a scheme that would cause the builder to forfeit his payment, and threaten to attack him. So he swore oath that he would stop the man and his horse from completing the citadel. That night, the builder drove out to fetch stone with his stallion Svalfari, and out from a wood ran a mare. It appeared from a nearby forest and neighed towards the stallion. Realizing what kind of horse it was, Svalfari became frantic, neighed, tore apart his tackle, and ran towards the mare. The mare ran to the wood, Svalfari followed, and the builder chased after. The man was not happy that his stallion had got away. The two horses ran around all night, causing the building work to be held up for the night, and the previous momentum of building work that the builder had been able to maintain was not continued. The gods, noticing the man's wrath, realized that he was in fact a Jotun, and they had been well and truly tricked. They disregard their previous oaths with the builder, and called for Thor to kill the giant. Thor arrived, and killed the builder by smashing the builder's skull into shards with the hammer Mjolnir. The force sent his body flying to Niflheim, and cast tiny pieces of his skull across the Nine Realms. It then became clear that it was Loki who had stopped the completion of the citadel. He had disguised himself as the mare to which Svadilfari left the giant to be with. He mated with that stallion and had become pregnant with the stallion's foal. Somewhat later, Loki gave birth to a grey foal with eight legs. It was the horse Sleipnir, the best horse among gods and men. So Loki gifted him to Odin. Odin rode this horse into battle during Ragnarok as well as whenever he went into the realm of Hell. Sleipnir is attested in the Poetic Edda, compiled in the 13th century from earlier traditional sources, and the Prose Edda, written in the 13th century by Snorri Sturluson which are the most important source for Norse mythology in existence. Let me know what you think about this story in the comments below. I've also uploaded a video about Thor from Norse mythology. If you're interested, check it out. Tap the thumbs up icon and subscribe to this channel. It helps me very much. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.